Hello, my name is Joachim Suter. I'm a LANA certified lymphedema therapist and the founder of the Academy of Lymphatic Studies. I'm also the author of this Facebook page and uh, lymphedema blog, which is a website dedicated to provide relevant and up-to-date information to patients affected by lymphedema, lipedema, and other forms of swelling. Today, I would like to talk to you about primary and secondary lymphedema, how it develops, and why it is important to treat lymphedema as soon as possible. Lymphedema is an extremely common condition. The highest incidence of secondary lymphedema is observed following surgery and radiation for malignancies. The overall cancer treatment-related incidence of secondary lymphedema is about 15%. However, the breast cancer treatment-related incidence rate of uh, secondary lymphedema is about 42% in the United States. The 2017 statistics on breast cancer from the American Cancer Society indicates that almost 255,000 new cases of breast cancer in females and 2,200 in males were diagnosed in the United States that year. Lymphedema is a swelling of a body part, most often the extremities, and can be caused by a developmental abnormality of the lymphatic system, in which case it would be labeled as primary lymphedema, or by a mechanical disruption or obstruction of normally functioning lymph vessels or lymph nodes secondary to surgery or trauma. If lymphedema is caused by surgery or trauma, it would be classified as secondary lymphedema. Now, if the lymphatic system is damaged or impaired to such an extent that the remaining healthy lymph vessels in the affected body part are unable to compensate for the damaged lymph vessels, lymph fluid, which has a high content in protein, will accumulate in these tissues. Lymphedema is evident initially as a swelling of a body part, most often the extremities. However, uh, other parts of the body, such as the trunk, the abdomen, exterior genitalia, and the head and neck may be affected as well. In some patients, the onset of lymphedema is gradual. In others, it may be sudden. And as the accumulation of protein-rich fluid progresses, the affected areas may develop hardening, which is known as lymphostatic fibrosis. There may be deposits of fatty tissue, skin changes such as warts and papillomas, and frequent infections. In many cases, specifically if no treatment is initiated, lymphedema can lead to an extreme enlargement of the affected body part, which is known as lymphostatic elephantiasis. In order to avoid these complications, specifically recurring infections and the hardening of the tissues, it is imperative that lymphedema is treated as soon as possible. The goal of any treatment is to reduce the swelling and to maintain the reduction, that is to bring the lymphedema back to a normal or near normal size. The treatment of choice for lymphedema is complete decongestive therapy or CDT which is often labeled as the gold standard treatment for lymphedema. You can find more information on CDT and other articles related to lymphedema and its treatment on the Lymphedema blog website at www.lymphedemablog.com. Just click on an article that may be of interest to you on the index on the left side of the website.